Hey, hey guys, another update, um, a little update, um, and I worked on the gym and I did some pin washes and um, this time I used oil colors for that. That was my first time, uh, my first pin wash with uh, oil, oil colors and uh, it turned out all right. Uh, I'm gonna show you some examples. Um, you can see this line here turned out really nice and really smooth also on this side and then there were some lines that didn't turn out that good for example uh, the lines here on the collar thing right up here got a bit too heavy um, I, I'm, I've, I like that, <laughs> but um, it's not as sub subtle as uh, the lines on some other parts. Um, for example, on the legs here, you can see yeah, the leg on that. Uh, you can see that that is a very delicate line, and well, this turned out very heavy. Um, so this needs practice, and I think the problem was that I couldn't really get into the recess area here with the q-tip. Uh, I could have used a brush but I thought well this guy is supposed to be weathered and looking uh, worn out and uh, I think this looks pretty good. If I wanted a very clean uh, finish um, I uh, wouldn't have left it like this. Yeah, uh, some more examples. This was quite hard to do here on the side of the leg. Turned out all right, I think. Also the Vulcans look much better after some pin washing. Yeah, overall I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um, on the shield, there's only two parts where I lose, used some of the wash, uh, but on the back I gave it a general wash, just overall the uh, the whole surface and then um, took away some excess on the on the raised parts. I think the effect is all right. Uh, yeah, that's basically what I've done. The feet turned out quite nice, I think. Maybe a bit dark. Uh, maybe I'll go in and dry brush the. Uh, veneers or thrusters a little bit. Um, I used very cheap oil colors um, from the pound store or the pound pound land or the dollar store or, but uh, they work all right. I also paint with this stuff because oil colors are expensive. Um, and it uh, worked really, really well and I don't think you have to invest too much money for a simple pin wash but I may be wrong oh yes um, in some areas like here on these parts um, don't know if you can see that at all let's do it like this here you can see that uh, the paint didn't go all the way. Uh, it, it did go all the way, but when it dried, uh, there weren't any pigments in this part. It worked perfectly on this part. Uh, yes, where's the other one? There. Uh, on the top one, you can see there's uh, a nice line, and uh, here it didn't work that well. And I think the problem is that the thinner um, I used a uh, thinner by Schminke you might have heard of that diluent N Geruchlose Reinigungs- und Verdünnungsmittel um, and this worked quite well 
it is a thinner for all colors, especially for oil colors, but the color and the thinner separated after a while and you constantly have to uh, remix, remix it. And uh, I guess when I did these, uh, I got to a point uh, where I should have mixed the two parts a bit better. But that's easily fixed and that's where I am right now with the gym. Next step will be uh, a nice coat of gloss varnish um, to protect the panel line work I've done and then the logical next step would be to give it an overall wash but I'm not too sure. I think um, the greys are quite dark already and a wash would um, would darken them even more so nah, I'm not I'm not sure and then I can get it to some chipping effects and we'll see how that works all right and on another note I'm gonna show you what else I got Sorry about the grunting, but this is heavy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Q evil laughter. Um, that's uh, what I got in the last couple of days. Uh, it's the Rizal Type C, a Marasai or a Marasai. Marasai. Let's. Uh, use some bad Japanese. Um, the Banshee, a Blitz, a Jim Sniper type, very cool, and the Zaku 1 Sniper type, and also the Banshee hat with the magazine. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm not gonna open all these boxes now because the video would be uh, way too long, but uh, over the next couple of weeks I'm gonna gradually bit by bit show you what's in these all right and I think that's it for today maybe I'll open up one of the boxes hold on a second